because your uh, open notes quiz may have some questions that you need to take from these and I want to make sure you understand it. Furthermore, your interim assessment, which is on when? What's your interim? Tuesday. Uh, I'm sorry, not Tuesday. No, it's not. Yours is on Wednesday, the 2nd. Okay, Wednesday, December 2nd. Not, so not this week, it's the following week. Your B day. Okay, you're on December 2nd. December 2nd is Wednesday. You come back to school, it's November 30th, a Monday. December 1st is Tuesday, December 2nd is Wednesday. You come back to school on a B-Day, which is Monday, but you don't have me on, or I'm sorry, we don't have the test that day, we have to test the following class period. So we'll be reviewing the day you come back for break for your interim. All right, so any of the questions that you still have, anything you're not sure about, about the seven characteristics of China, India, Egypt, and the Mesoamerican civilization, you'll have a chance to ask, all right? I will be, I'm not leaving you with a written assignment over the break in hopes that you all are looking at Google Classroom, reviewing some of the assignments and warm-ups that we've done, going to my website, which I'll, sh uh, again, I'll show you in a second. Again, some of you are having some difficulty looking at the notes that we had on there for the Aztec Inc. is in the mines. They've been posted there, right? So we're using those notes. Uh, Again, you have a bunch of different resources in Discovery Education. So again, I haven't used Discovery Education with you in class, but you have seen how to log on. I've walked you through that process before. Holly? Okay, I need you up here. Okay, I'll work with Hunter. I need you to be putting your attention on me. Okay, Hunter, you need to be putting the Legos away. Okay? All right, so as I look around the room, I'm not seeing very many assignments pulled out. What happened, guys? Who lost their paper? Okay, who left it somewhere? Okay, the bad thing about that is I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Hopefully, if you pay attention right now, you won't struggle on your quiz. You should be able to answer those questions all right. Um, if you didn't do your homework, Again, it's going to be hard for you to keep up when I go over it because I'm not going to spend five, ten minutes waiting for you to write everything down. Okay? Why is it called homework, ladies and gentlemen? You're supposed to do it what? At home. All right. So before I forget, let me take roll. You guys are my oddball class because Miss Jones can't take roll. Go.
Again, ladies and gentlemen, one of the big keys is I want to make sure that you're learning how to manage your time. That's the biggest thing in sixth grade. You don't need to, uh, I don't care if you have it completed or not, okay? When I collect it and grade it, I'm grading it for, is, are the answers correct? Are you understanding the things I need you to understand? I'm trying to help you guys with time management. You have me A day and B day, or I'm sorry, B day. You have me B day. So that means you have an extra day in between to do, all, do your assignments. So if you have an assignment for Ms. Gregory, you should be doing that tonight because that means that you don't have me tomorrow. So if you have Miss Gregory's class tomorrow, so you need to be working on her work the days that you don't have me, or the days that you have me, and vice versa. Okay, if I give you two worksheets, you might decide to do one today when you get home, if you have no science homework, and then when can you do the other one? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? So you don't have to do it all at the same time. You can spread it out over a couple of days, but, Again, and I'm not going to be picking on you, okay, because I've heard it from other scholars too. Uh, again, the fact that you don't have time, that's not a good excuse. Okay, if I came to school and told you all I didn't, don't have time to plan your lesson, you would be sitting here having a free for all every class period. All right, adults don't do those kinds of things, guys. Um, again, we have to learn to manage our time, right? Now, does that mean that I don't drop the ball now and then? No. Okay, adults make mistakes too, right? But we need to make sure that we're learning from that mistake. So I know some, some scholars, they repeatedly don't do their work, okay? I can't help you if you're not willing to help yourself. Okay, you have to be willing to take the step to help yourself. That means doing the work that's assigned. If you're not sure, asking questions. Take advantage of third block enrichment. Some of you still are not taking advantage of third block. Okay. Ask Miss Gregory or ask whomever your third block teacher is if you can come see me if there's some things that you're not sure about. Okay? Any questions about that? Again, I know that's a lot for beginning of the morning on a Monday, well, for a break, but um, hopefully you are all on the same page with me. Okay? Um, any questions about that? All right, just to give you a look at the agenda for today. Um, your warm-up was to just review your notes. I asked Ms. Jones to tell you guys to make sure you were looking at your notes for your quiz today. Um, I don't really like to call it a quiz, because to me, quiz means gotcha. Haha, <laughs> you don't know this, gotcha. I'm not trying to play gotcha, okay? I'm just trying to see what you know and what you don't know so that when we come back from break, I know what we need to review really hard the day before your test, okay? Questions about that? Okay, it is ten, your assessment or your check is 10 questions. It is not multiple choice. You have to actually write an answer. You can use all of the notes that you have, but you cannot use your Chromebook. Right? If you recall, on Thursday, I had you guys Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursday? I lost track of the days. Thursday? Yeah. Okay, so Thursday, when I had you, um, your warm-up was to use the copy of my notes that I had online and handwrite onto your graphic organizer any notes that you did not have that I had on mine. Okay, I told you not to erase notes that you already had because your notes are probably good. But the ones that were most important are the ones that I put on my key, and I wanted you to handwrite those notes just so that you, I know that you're trying to learn the material. Again, if you just printed them off at home, and I don't think anybody has, but if you just printed them off at home, that's not helping you learn them. Okay, I'm not asking you, can you go home and print something? Do you know how to print? Okay, I'm asking you, do you know what technology was in ancient Egypt? Or some of the social structure, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the social structure is in ancient India, for instance, the caste system. Okay? Yes, you're doing this. Yes, yes. Oh, you weren't here. Okay, and since you're newer, that's okay. I'll just review it with everybody. Um, cause I'm, we're gonna, you're going to hear it a lot in the next couple of days when we come back from break because some of you will have, will have forgotten what your expectations are, but that's okay. Uh, remember, if you're absent, when is a good time to tell me that you are absent? Good. I would prefer if, let's say, you're absent tomorrow, uh, you were absent today, that tomorrow, even though tomorrow is an A-day, that you'll still see me in 
passing on the way in from the bus lot or from the car rider lot or during third block, come see me. Say I was absent yesterday, Mr. Price, what did I miss? That way I can get you caught up and you have an extra day to make sure that you are getting caught up. Now, I know sometimes you get sick, you can't help it. I get sick sometimes and I have to leave school. Um, that's never happened before, so I'm knocking you to make sure that it doesn't happen. Uh, but if that does happen, just come see me the day you come back, third block. Uh, before school, after school, uh, before class, or after class. Okay, it's really not a good idea to ask me in the middle of the period. Now, again, today is a different story, because I know you had your Andreas and you weren't exactly sure. Okay? Um, I have posted the homework on my website for this week and the following week we come back from break. Um, let's see if I can get you guys a note of that. I wanted to look, I'll share that with you, and I told you I'd show you where the notes were. And your class also owes me, there are a couple groups that still haven't presented yet. Okay, I, I noticed that yesterday when I finally was able to log into PowerSchool, um, I'm missing some grades for you all, so I'll, I'll touch base with those of you that have to present still. Um, I want to make sure that those get done before the end of the period. across the top, you'll have these little three lines, which if you click the little lines, it'll let you see the links on the website. And if you click on documents, um, my pen's not working, but if you click on documents, um, this is where you can see the blend space notes for Mesoamerica. So that was, these are the notes from the Aztecs, the Incas, and the Mayans. Okay, there we go takes you right to the presentation, okay? And for those of you that lost your handwritten notes, the ones you had to fill in the blank for the Aztecs, Incas, and Mayans, not only did I share it with you on Google Classroom, it's linked on my website under documents, but it's also in the presentation. So it's in three places for you, okay? Hopefully some of you said, oh look, that's the same thing I already have. And you said that to yourself three times, all right? So, trying to make this easy for you to get if you lost your notes or didn't have your notes. Hmm? You need a pencil. Okay, does anybody have an extra pencil? No? Oh, come on guys, wake up. You look a little sleepy this morning. Well, we got two days to go. silly, but that way I know that you're getting up and moving around the room for a reason. 
One of the issues I had on Friday, and it wasn't your class, it was my, one of my A day classes, is somebody um, did something un inappropriate over by the pencil sharpener, and, and again, I pencil sharpeners off limits for that reason. Okay, if you need your pencil sharpened, I have an electric one. Still ask permission, and I'll pull the electric one out, and you can sharpen your pencil. Okay. Again, I didn't do that to be mean to your class and to punish all the classes, but one of my classes just can't handle it, so that's their their punishment is that they have to find another way to sharpen their pencil. All right? Bye, Hunter. So, I'm sorry, enough, enough housekeeping stuff. Let's go over your notes for the India caste system. Okay, so if you want to take the worksheet out, my copy. down the answers as we go over them. That way you have something to transfer to your worksheet when you find it or when you print it off of my website. Right? So switching gears, not as technique as in mine, but yeah, we're going back up to Justin Mark. Okay. So again, you already know of a couple. Okay, you already know of a couple. 
So, when we look at the caste system, we have the Brahmins, which are the priests, at the very top. We have the Kshitras, which are the warrior class. Again, they're really important because you need protection. Okay? Would the United States be successful right now if we didn't have a military? No. no. Why not? Okay, we, we will not, we're not necessarily defeat it, but what would happen? All right, excellent. So again, you wouldn't have any protection. So anybody can come in and invade, right? Oh, I'm just going to come over here and take, mm, let's see, Kyla's lip balm because I can. All right, who's stopping me? No one. All right. All right, and then we have the Visayas in the middle. They were skilled traders. Then we had unskilled workers. And then we have unskilled workers. And then finally we have pariahs, which are the untouchables, or people that are just so at the bottom that, again, it's pretty much, there's really no hope for them. Okay? So, does anybody recall, what is this the basis of? What religion? What world religion is the caste system a part of even today? When I introduced this to you last class on Thursday, I introduced this to you in the same way. Who remembers? Antoine. I think I need to get my die, dice out again so that I can call on you guys at random. Okay, I'm getting the same hands, and it's, I know it's Monday, guys, but you have two days of school and then you can have a break. Okay, oh, Alex, that's you. Okay, so do you remember what religion? What religion is this cast is on the basis of? Jonathan, help him out. Thank you for volunteering. Hmm? Hinduism? Okay, I think that's what you meant to say is Hinduism, and yes. Uh, again, when we look at Hinduism after your break, we'll look at some of the things that specifically make this system different from Buddhism, from Christianity, from Judaism, okay, and the areas that they came from, those religions. But this class system, which is the answer to number one, caste system is a class system, uh, makes up the belief system of Hinduism, all right? So I told you, or I told my A-Day classes on Friday, and I'll tell you guys, when you hear the word Egypt, or the name Egypt, you should think pyramid. When you hear Mesopotamia, you should think, some of you will think wheel, some of you may think ziggurat. Okay? When you hear of ancient China, you should think of the Silk Road. Okay? Now, did we, I don't think we talked, did we talk about the Silk Road at all on Thursday? Yes. And the fact that... Okay, so we'll go back over that in a second. But India, you should think caste system. The Aztecs, you should think about the desert. The Incas were located on mountains. That was the picture that I shared with you guys when we talked about their farming. And then the Mayans. The jungle. Good, I heard a couple of you say it. The jungle. So, there's at least one word that you can associate with every civilization. The one that I need you to associate with, with India, is the caste system and the idea of reincarnation. Okay, when you die, it was the belief of the Hindus, or I'm sorry, of the Indian people, that when you died, your body or your soul would come back to life, and you would be put into another human body, so you're not coming back as a different creature, you're coming back as another human, and based off of karma, you either had good karma or bad karma. Okay, good karma means you were being nice to everybody and you treated others as you wanted to be treated. Bad karma means you stole stuff, you robbed somebody, you killed somebody, okay, you did bad things in life. Then you would not be able to move up in the social structure or in this pyramid. Okay? 
So you wanted to have good karma because if you were only a sudra, you didn't have very much power, but if you could be a Brahmin, man, you're living the good life at the top. Okay? So you really wanted to make sure that you were living a very good life. Okay? But again, has anybody ever died and come back and told us that this is exactly what happened? No. no. Okay? So this is just a belief, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying go home and tell your parents I have to become, um, I have to uh, believe in the caste system. Or Mr. Pine said I have to believe in this. No. Okay? But this is the belief system that they have in, ancient, in, in India today. And it started in ancient times. All right, so for number one, let's go down the list. Uh, starting with Nigeria. What did we say the answer to number one was? <sighs> Class system, good. Number two, moving down the row. So Dawson. Okay, how do you get into a cast? How do you get into a cast? For question number two. Hmm? Uh, well, not well. Um, I could your parents cast Okay, good. So you were basically born into it. And if you're not understanding the answers, ladies and gentlemen, the paragraphs at the top, they all come right from the introduction. So this isn't anything that I had you guess on. It's all based on, did you read the top part? to answer the questions at the bottom. So real, real straightforward assignment for you. Uh, number two, uh, or number three. Uh, let's see, Nyla, you went calling. Number three. How long do you remain in the caste system? Or in a caste? Jeez. Till you die. So if I won the lottery, let's say they had the lottery back then. They really didn't, but if they did, and I was an untouchable, and I won a million dollars, Okay? Uh, guess what, guys? I'd just be an untouchable with a million dollars. Likewise, if a priest won, or a kashitra won the lottery, they would still be a kashitra with a million dollars. Okay, Antoine, what do you need that you didn't raise your hand to stand up? Okay, go ahead and sit down, and I told you to do what? Noble paper. Okay? Alright, so number three, for life. Number four, can one marry someone from another caste? Kyla? No. No. Number five, Jordan, while you are alive, can you rise into a higher caste? Nope, I just told you, you're, once you're in that level, you're in that level. When you die. Uh, right, that when you die, based on your karma, that's the only way that you can move. Okay, number six. Uh, Logan, go ahead, can you answer number six? Um, I think the, the cast that the child was into was is the parent's cast because it's taken over their, um, their job. Excellent. So yes, it go, uh, originally it go, the child is part of their parent's cast. Number seven. Number seven. Um, there were thousands. Good. Th thousands of subcasts. Okay, thousands, and it says that in the paragraph above. Um, number eight, Roderick. Hmm? Where's your paper? All right, Xavion, number eight. The were the lowest class. Okay, they were the lowest class. What jobs did they do, Jonathan? They swept the streets and uh, dealt with the Okay, so they could do pretty much jobs that no one would want. Okay, that's the only way that they only. Can you say um, the Indian devils? Can you say um, like the name of it? What do you? Yes, you can say the prize. You can say the prize. That's fine. Um, number nine today. How does the Indian government try to protect the untouchables? They do what? They provide special programs. Okay, they provide special programs. Kayla, is that what you had? Yeah. Um, so for number 10, whenever I collect these after your uh, open notes check, I will look at that myself. Um, if you flip to the back. Right, I realize today's a lot of reading from me, but it's sometimes good to have some direct reading. Here we go. Uh, you're going to tell me the cast that it belongs to and then explain why. 
So on Monday, I must perform sacrifices to Jiva, god of destruction. On Tuesday, I must perform sacrifices to Brahma, the god of creation. On Wednesday, I must take the day off to catch up on my global history homework. Otherwise, um, Mr. Pice will sacrifice me to Shiva. <laughs> on Thursday, I offer, offer sacrifices to Vishnu, the god of preservation. On Friday, I sacrifice again to Shiva. It's very hard to keep all the gods happy. It's even harder to keep Mr. Pice happy. Okay? This speaker belongs to? <laughs> to the Brahmins. Okay? It's talking about religion, so that means it needs to be the highest status. Good. Number two, life for those of us in this caste is not easy. Everywhere we go, people treat us like we are dirt or worse. They treat us like we are high school freshmen. Um, so again, originally this was created for uh, high school freshmen. You guys are, uh, you may or may not understand this one, but in any case, we must clean toilets, pick up dead animals from the street, and clean up waste products left behind by the uh, sacrificed cattle in the city. Our only hope is having good karma. I would not want to be reincarnated as a member of this caste. What level? Yes, Megan. The untouchables. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be picking up dead animals. That's not the best job in the world. Is that Kyla? You're Yep. Yeah. Yes. No, that's just each and every one. They, they believe that each and every 